after writing the Sunset on Sunset Boulevard, um, <clears throat> I, just, I saw this movie, uh, City Heat, and it's got Al Pacino in it and Robert De Niro. And the way I would see, the way I see movies pretty much in general is in segments. I see them in motel rooms. I don't watch them at home. But on the road, you know, I'll turn the TV on, see a half an hour of a movie, and it'll be the middle section, and then I gotta go play the gig. So I only know that part. Now I'll come, you know, I'll come back and uh, it'll be on again, and I'll see another section. So my mind, I, I'm learning about these characters, but not in a beginning, middle, end sort of way. So that was kind of what, I, you know, and it's very, it's a really cool way to experience a movie. And, I, and this movie had a, a certain mood and feel to it that really appealed to me. Uh, my wife and I went up with my friend Will Owen and his wife and family, and we stayed, it was up in Canada, and uh, was, we stayed, before we reached our destination, we had one night where we stayed in this uh, motel, and it was the Blue Moon Motel, and suddenly this movie, City Heat, came back to my mind, and I thought of, you know, uh, someone who robbed a bank, and they said, well, you know, everyone split and we'll meet at the Blue Moon Hotel, you know, right near the border. And it, and the and just the name of the motel sounded really cool to me. I made it a hotel, but, you know, it's, it was the Blue Moon part. And then using it as kind of a metaphor for what? For a place to escape to after you've done something drastic. And, you know, some people make it and some people don't. And just getting to the place becomes this... Instead of trying to get to heaven, all you're trying to do is get to this <clears throat> sort of seedy hotel where you'll be safe. Uh, so, you know, that, that thing, songs would come in in that kind of way. The motel would kick it off, but I always wanted to keep the mood of these sort of illegal goings-on, you know, happening in the song. Now Gracie says that Frank never made it. Well, Frankie always said, what the hell? You take your chance, and you just might make it all the way to the blue.